Desarm Bremen, uh, we want to make spaceflight more human-centered. This means we want to take into account the needs and also the well-being of our astronauts. Um, this is more and more difficult for long-duration spaceflight as the technological systems are getting ever complex. For the MRT mission, we focus on a small part of the habitat system, the life support system. The system is necessary for the astronauts to stay alive on Mars, and uh, therefore they have to make sure that it operates normally and uh, do the regular maintenance works and of course jump in if uh, some emergencies occur. We have a so-called photobioreactor that's growing microalgae to produce oxygen for the crew to breathe. And the system is, as it's of biological nature, quite complex and hard for a non-expert astronaut to, to grasp and to deal with. And uh, that's what will happen during the MND missions. We have prepared some of those situations that uh, are a little bit stressful to the astronauts and that they have to deal with. We have a chatbot artificial intelligence that has the user manual, one could say, of the photobioreactor in mind and guides the astronauts in all the tasks that are necessary to do. So if an emergency arises, um, it will already guide them what the likely causes could be and uh, after the causes identified, will help them with pictures, with explanations to um, fix the problem. The big advantage of the support from the artificial intelligence is that it is in real time. We hope to see that through the support of the artificial intelligence, the performance of the astronauts will be improved, that we see the well-being, the comfort of the astronauts while fixing a problem increased. I, for my part, am studying space engineering. We have uh, psychologists in our team. We have engineers that focus on, on the hardware, but also people that are more focused on the biology of the photobioreactor. Mm -hmm.